Oh my gosh, guys. I just woke up. It's about 9 in the morning, and I find out that there's a brand new hunting game coming out called Way of the Hunter, made by THQ Nordic. I'm actually very excited for this, and I think let's just show the trailer so you guys can understand exactly why I'm so excited. They ask, what draws me out here? To the middle of nowhere. But hunters know, you're in the middle of everything. A world of opportunity and adventure. You can't be sure what's waiting for you. No two hunts are ever the same. It's about choosing your path, deciding your prey. It's that extra beat of the heart when you find fresh tracks. When you call out and hear a call back. That feeling when you scout the herd, then go silent, closing in. But you can never underestimate nature's will to survive. Sometimes, that's the way it goes. And that's the challenge. Every hunter knows there's always another chance. Because no two hunts are ever the same. So prepare, persist, trust your raw instincts. And when it all comes together, the perfect spot the perfect stop. The perfect shot. There's nothing quite like it. That's the way of the wild. That's the way of the hunter. So this is the first hunting game in a while that we've had getting created by a somewhat large studio. I know THQ Nordic makes a lot of uh, really awesome games, or uh, I'm actually not sure. They might just be the publisher of uh, many amazing games. I know for a fact they're behind stuff like the MX vs. ATV series, which was a very popular series uh, quite a while ago, and I think it is still pretty popular now. I believe they've also done stuff like Wreckfest, but this game looks incredible just from the trailer alone. There is so many things that I want to talk about here. I think one of the first things that I noticed when I was watching this trailer is this is quite different looking than a lot of the hunting titles that we've seen pop up over the years after the Hunter Call of the Wild was released. A lot of the ones that have popped up have been kind of mediocre, stuff like Hunting Simulator 2, but just from the trailer that we've seen here, a lot of the animal models look actually pretty incredible with this game, and the antlers seem to be pretty impressive as well, and from what I was reading, there is going to be some type of random antler system so that alone is probably going to give this game quite a bit of replay value uh, provided this ends up being just as amazing as the trailer is showing because there's always a possibility that it won't be as good as the trailer shows and I always like to stay at least a little bit cautious whenever going into a new game like this but I gotta say I'm incredibly excited from what I have seen out of this trailer it, it really seems incredible so we're going to go ahead and let the trailer play in the background while we kind of read some of the stuff about this game. This authentic hunting experience lets you explore and hunt in large open world environments in the USA and Europe. Discover true to life animals in beautiful natural habitats and handle various detailed and highly realistic weapons. Face the challenges of ethical hunting supported by a compelling story or simply enjoy hunting the rich environments freely. So it does sound like there will be some kind of free hunting mode where you can just go out and hunt. That is going to be really nice, but they're also going to give you a story mode. It's been a bit since we've had a good story mode in a hunting game. Now, we've got the missions in Call of the Wild, but that's not really a full-blown full story mode. So I am very interested to see how this is going to turn out. Dozens of strikingly detailed animal species and realistic or with realistic behavior models for a truly immersive hunting experience. Enjoy your perfect hunting adventure among friends in co-op mode. 
Hunt like a pro with features that highlight animal signs, blood splatter analysis, and shot review with the rewindable bullet camera. So I think what that means is that after you killed an animal, you can view kind of like a replay of the shot that you took at it. That sounds really cool. I definitely am feeling like this game is going to compare more to Call of the Wild than it is a game like the Hunter Classic. It does seem like it has some realistic uh, aspects of the game and some more simulation aspects, but it also seems like there is quite a bit of the arcade style features that you would expect from a game like the Cabela's games or the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, that's kind of what the bullet cam seems like to me, but I don't think it's actually going to be like the typical bullet cam we would expect out of games in the past. It seems like you can only look at it after you've already taken the shot and killed the animal. And then I guess when you recover the animal or something like that, then you can review the shot. And I think that's actually kind of cool. So it says we have two vast hunting territories with 55 square miles each. That's pretty big. It's definitely not quite as large as Call of the Wild, I don't think. Actually, now that I think of it, Maybe it is. Let me do a little bit of research real quickly. Okay, correction. I think that these maps are actually bigger than Call of the Wilds. So, 55 miles turns out to be around 88 kilometers. I think these are actually larger than Call of the Wilds maps. If not larger, they're very close to being the same size. So next up it says we have realistic ballistics and bullet physics simulation. So that's going to be good to have. I do like it when a game tries to go as realistic as they can with the bullet physics and like the trajectories and stuff like that. That will be a good thing to see. And also hopefully you guys can't hear it but there's a lawnmower outside of my window so <laughs> that's great. But uh, we're just going to hope that it doesn't come through the microphone. It says we will also have sophisticated natural animal reactions and animations when sensing the player's presence, a compelling story about the struggles of a family hunting business, and the rivalry and friendships that surround it. So it says that we will have sophisticated natural animal animations and reactions when sensing the player's presence, which is always a positive in any hunting game. Uh, we will have a compelling story about the struggles of a family hunting business and the rivalry and friendships that surround it. That sounds kind of cool. Interested to see what the story mode is going to be like. A complex trophy system that generates unique antlers and horns based on multiple factors like fitness and age. That right there is probably the coolest part of everything that we have read. I am so excited that we're getting another game that has randomized antlers because really Call of the Wild and... The Hunter Classic are the only ones that have done it recently. I know like the old Deer Hunter games had something similar, but it was never quite as advanced as the two games made by Expansive Worlds. So it is really nice to see that another company is going to be trying to at least add some kind of randomization system to the antlers. Oh, and also as I'm reading this, it does look like it's actually developed by Nine Rocks Games and it is published by THQ Nordic so they are a publisher it looks like uh, for THQ Nordic and the actual developer is Nine Rocks Games so if you guys wanted to know that's who is developing this game and the last thing that we see on this list is shot review with the rewindable bullet camera so yeah it does sound the more that I'm reading it it does sound like this is going to be different than the typical bullet camera and I'm happy about that I've always thought that the bullet cameras we've had in the Cabela's games were a little bit too arcadey for me. I didn't really like them all that much, but if it's a shot review where you can kind of review the shot that you just took, I think that's a little cooler. And there is actually one more thing that I just noticed. So in their mature content description, which is uh, something that they kind of add to the end of their description on their Steam page, it says it is a realistic hunting game, which that sounds amazing. Animals are shot and killed with rifles. Blood spatters are displayed on the ground, which we expect. Animal anatomy and the hit by the bullet are shown in the shot review. That's nice. That's always good to have. But this is what really has me interested. Animals are displayed as taxidermized trophies in the hunting lodge. So we are going to get a hunting lodge in this as well. This game is looking like it's going to have it all. I just hope that it actually follows through with it. That is my biggest concern right now is whether or not it's going to be as good as what all of this sounds and what the trailer looks like. 
Okay, so as I was editing this video, I just realized there actually is some more information on the game, and there actually is a release date as well, and it looks like we're going to be getting the game December 31st of 2022, so it's still a ways off, but it's going to be coming out around the same time we typically get a new Call of the Wild Reserve, and probably within a few months of Ultimate Hunting, so this is coming out at a pretty interesting time. And this right here is from their official announcement post that they have on their Steam page. Uh, it says players will take on the role of a seasoned hunter who has just taken over his grandfather's hunting cabin and the opportunity to proceed with the family tradition of selling high quality game meat. A variety of biomes provide the player with a vast area of beautiful nature to explore. The hunter is challenged with observing animal tracks while carefully stalking and avoiding detection from the razor sharp senses of his prey. With Way of the Hunter, we are going to start a new franchise, said Dave Dursak, I hope I said that right, CEO of Nine Rock Games. The Way of the Hunter franchise finally gives this expansive audience of players a hunting experience as rich in storytelling as it is realistic in ballistic simulation. To create the best game possible, we've assembled a seasoned team of skilled professionals who worked on games like DayZ or the Cabela's hunting games before. That's really cool. That, that makes me even more excited about this because... I think this is really the first, like, huge, like, big studio that is taking on a game like this. This is crazy. Way of the Hunter's large selection of authentic hunting equipment and weapons, including licensed guns and scopes, are amplified by realistic handling of firearms and bullet physics. The game features two vast open world hunting territories, one in the US and one in Europe, each 55 square miles in size and boasting its own simulated wildlife ecosystem. But now that I have got a chance to read over this post that they made, let's go ahead and just cut back into the video. I don't know where I'm going to insert this because I just found this after I recorded the first part. So th this will end up somewhere in the video, but I just had to get that information to you guys because it includes the release date and some more information about the game itself. And after reading this, I'm even more excited than I was previously. I really hope so. Let me know what you guys think down below because another game that has a Truax style system along with trophy lodges and extremely large reserves just sounds amazing and I'm so excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Let me know down in the comments what your biggest concerns are about this, what you're most excited for about this, and whether or not you think this game is going to be good and I will try to run through the comments and reply to as many as I can. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!